Hey guys, John Thompson, Spring Framework Guru here. Today I'm show, going to show you how to set up a MySQL database uh, connection using Spring Boot. And what I've done is I've taken my uh, demo project for building a web application with Spring Boot and we're going to set up a MySQL uh, database connection in that. So the first thing that we want to do is add in the MySQL uh, database driver as a jar, as a Maven dependency. So I've already done that here in my Maven Palm. I've added in that connection. If you notice, uh, there's no uh, version number on that. So that's actually going to be an inherited from the parent POM. So that the way uh, Spring Boot works, it does uh, have a, a parent POM. So that will have additional dependencies in it. So the actual uh, version information is going to be up in that parent POM. So uh, MySQL is very popular so that uh, the Spring team has already added in the, the versioning of that for us. So like I said, we only need to add in this one Maven dependency to pick up MySQL. The next thing that we need to do is uh, add our application properties, go in there and configure the data source. So uh, by adding in Spring Data Source URL, username, and password, that's going to override the existing data source. So right now we're using the H2 database in it for all the development stuff that we've done. But by adding in and defining a MySQL data source, Spring Boot is going to create a data source bean for MySQL and not create a bean for the embedded uh, MySQL database. So now I've also added in a create drop line for Hibernate so that the database does get created. And we are going to go over and take a look at the MySQL database. So I have a Spring Boot DB, that's my database name, and that is uh, currently empty. So if I come down here and refresh, that, that's still empty. And just as a, a side note, I'm using a tool called SQL Pro that's open source, uh, works great for MySQL databases. Let's go over and take a look at, at the Spring Boot application. I'm going to go into IntelliJ and start it up. We can see that Spring Boot is uh, starting up and it's going to go through the typical stuff, but this time it's going to be running against MySQL. I can see that Tomcat started. I'm going to go over take a look. I'm going to do a refresh now and I do have a product table. Uh, I have a couple records in there. If you remember in the tutorial uh, for creating a web application with MySQL, I did set up a bootstrap class that actually loads up a couple products. So uh, it started and my products are there in the database so I can see see the products being persisted to MySQL. So if I did go into the web application, I would be able to do full CRUD operations against this database. This is just a, a quick example to show you how you can swap in and out different data sources with Spring Boot. Um, I, this concludes this presentation. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please uh, like us on YouTube or head over to my Facebook page and show me a little uh, social media love there and uh, like my Facebook page. I greatly appreciate that. This is John Thompson, Spring Framework Guru.